Hey guys, welcome back to the farm. Hey, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, stick around for a while. Hey, mild weather continues. That's a good thing for for the silo activity. I've been having some great luck with them silos. They like it. They like it when it's not very, very cold because things lock up in there. Well, we got these two rumbling. Uh, we got the vet coming, Dr. Gubert, Metamore, Michigan. He's on his way. That's a very nice cow right there, by the way. But she, I've seen her pushing some other cows recently. She's, she don't mess around. She's nice to the people, but she's kind of a, are you a bully? Maybe, maybe they did something to her. Anyway, Lonnie and I milked last night. We marked these cows later. We marked some of the cows with some cow friendly marking spray pink. I don't see any right now. I don't see any. There's some. Well, they must be all over there. Let's look for some pink legs. There's one right there. There's two. Um, reason for that is so when we're getting them in, it's easier to to pick them out. You know, you can, because then they're eating. Well, here they are. They're right here. I walked right by them. So we'll be getting 33 of them in. Dr. G will be checking them. And uh, we're going to see how we do. Let's go. this back in and we're good to go yeah I had a couple minutes a few seconds this silo when I shut it off it actually nothing was coming out this bar slid all the way forward and was out of this loop and it piled a bunch of feed right here which happens so I let it down a hole and put a door in and want to check it over anyway so we're good to go this is your second silo uh, probably a little over half full head down See if we can't get some cows around your lip. Just in time for Dave to get here. Those silos can be kind of a nasty job, but I've I've had worse jobs. Let's go check Dave out, pumping the milk out of the tanks. So Dave just pulled the, the milk weight and the samples. How long you been hauling our milk, Dave? Dad started picking it up in 79. What year is this? 22? 23. 23, yeah. That's, that's a long time. Yeah, 43 years. 44 years. 44 years. His dad started the milk route. Now Dave's still hauling milk. Take that one, run the ones we don't need in there. Block them. Go on, bud, go on in. Clear out. Let's stop her. Mr. Next alleyway. Next alleyway. Morning, girls. We preg checked these cows in the milk parlor. This is an exit ramp. So 
they'll open this up. They'll come right through the foot bath on their way out. We got Lonnie in here and we got Mark and Doc. Doc's getting warmed up. They're coming in. I don't know why he put so much put some graffiti paint on these for marking spray. At any rate, it's a scary point where I'm showing this eye up. I'm in the free stalls and they got some plant here that you can do something in heavy gauge wires like sticking out from it. You gotta protect. You can't leave warriors laying around yeah, like yeah. that. You know, if that is, it ever happens here and I say something, I would mention it. You know, it might be an interesting story, but I'm not in there. 65 days? Yep. Yeah. Right. Uh, 85 days. 85 days? Well, anyway, we can probably start letting these out. Almost. They're not getting enough light, so they're not coming in the heat. So I'll tell them, and people and animals both, that's vitamin D. Yeah, vitamin D, also beta keratin helps a lot. But down for 30 days. If, if I get any pregnancies under 40 days, we ought to be checked. Recheck them. Okay, because they can lose them easily. All right, let her out. All right. Big calf. Yeah. So you're talking, you know, seven, eight months. You know, she's, you know, if her production is dry. Yeah, she's off, ready. Okay. Fire her on. Okay. Must have been one we missed. Let her out. Yeah, the cow I'm operating on, I'm going to try to knock her totally out flat on the ground. So I can't Four months? Yep. Let her go. Got one. Take two. Next day, hey, that was Lonnie, Mark, and myself, and Dr. Goober. 25 out of 33 cows bred. We're pretty happy with that uh, bull bred. So, uh, new day. I've got a couple cows in the in the calving pen slash uh, sick pen, what we call them. I got Lance here going to help me. So we're going to check them cows out first. I got to finish feeding, and then once that's all cut up, I got to head out and go to the doctor myself and get my my yearly checkup in. So stay tuned for that and let's go. Given one of our best cows, 81 in IV, she's got a huge bag. She had a baby. The baby ended up not making it. And I was locking these cows in this morning. Lonnie's just finishing up scraping up right now, but she was wobbling pretty good. Anytime they're doing that, that means they're about to go down. Somehow I got her in here. Here's another cow about the calf that's in here. Um, look at the bag on her. So he's got the calcium bone in there. We're going to switch over, but it was it was tough. She got up in here and. Um, we were trying to fend her off, and finally she went back down. You want them down, but uh, right. let's switch it over. Hold that. She's gonna make it, guys. We do not want to lose this one. This is our best, our best cow. Best. 
Gus Cow, and she's got a little attitude. I got Lance with me. She was, there you go. She was going after us, but she's just scared. So I'm gonna give her some feed and water. She's still quivering a little bit. Uh, lucky it's not one of them frigid, frigid days today. But you know, she's got a little milk leaking out right there. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep an eye on her, and I'll keep you updated on her. Later in the day, I let that 81 out. She had recovered. And this other cow in the pen is calving. Oh, and, okay. And looks like the water just broke. Usually, you all right, bud? Usually, that water breaks a long time ago. I don't know if this one's alive. I'm gonna try to get her out. Here she comes. Pulling. All right, okay. Get them legs out. First thing I'll do, you hear it gurgling? I'll get some straw. And I'll stick it in his nose, make him sneeze or cough. See how it's stimulating him? That's what we want. Wow, look at that. Lifting his head up already. Got a little bull calf here, black. Now, I always like to take the calf. I learned this, instead of trying to get that mom up, I'll just pull this baby in front of her. Let her rest for a second. There you go. Then I'll try to get her up a little while after, but for right now, she gets to rest, kind of like in a hospital. There you go. There you go. Successful. She can get up before I, I leave here. Come on, bud. There she went. So we're getting ready to head in. I made it over. This clinic's in Yale. This is a VA clinic, part of McLaren Hospital, but. Uh, my yearly checkup. I got had my blood drawn a week ago, so I'm curious on how everything looks since I've the last time I was here one year ago was when I was recovering from that reactive arthritis. So I was down a lot on my weight and I was on a lot of medication. So you know, my I had a lot of things going bad, but I've, I'm off all the medication. I'm curious uh, how everything's going to be. So let's head in. Oh, 
Okay, guys, and we're back. Big Grant's back in the captain chair again. Hey, a lot went on with this video. Um, pretty happy with everything been going on. Uh, we get that new calf and uh, save that cow. <laughs> a lot of pregnant cows. What do you think, bud? I just got back from the from the VA. Um, all good, healthy. Put on the last weight from a year ago when I was still trying to climb back. I hit 168 pounds. I was skin and bone. So I'm back up now. I'm, I think I weighed in at 200 pounds. So I put on, I got a lot of my, my weight back. I had lost, I'm telling you, all my muscle in my, in my shoulders, my arms, my thighs. But a year later, it came back. I'm off all the meds. I feel good. The only thing is my cholesterol is on the rise. And... I gotta get it under control. I'm gonna start eating better, or eating less, I think is what she mainly said. I'm not at the point where I need to take medication, but she said you could be one of them guys that's physically fit that's got high cholesterol. So I'm gonna have to watch it, I don't know. She's like, you gotta stay away from red meat and dairy and things like that. And I was like, ha <laughs> I was thinking, what is she talking about? I'm not doing that. So I'll have to figure something out. Anyway, take care. Grant's in a good mood tonight. He's, uh, I wanted to bring Sissy out here, but she just went down for a nap. Uh, I carry her around now. She's all, all over the place laughing, smiling. She rolls around. What do you think, bud? You gonna say something? Say hi, bubba. Say hi, good guy. Can't catch your tongue? Okay, take care. See you in the next video. God bless.